hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a sloppy filler challenge so i've got two guests one is cookie dough as always in this very festive santa cook cute cute oh, thank you and then the other one is my ex fiance also <laughs> jasmine's dad um yeah so I'm not going to make it a rambly video because he really doesn't probably want to be doing this. He's a very shy person. So he went out with Jasmine and I went out with Jasmine and we both went to Home Bargains and had a budget of £15. So most of what is in my bag for you is what Jasmine chose. You'll probably guess. I think she chose it for herself. But obviously she could be here with us doing it but she's three and doesn't have a very good attention span. So, so who wants to go first? I think the, the host should go first. Okay. And so I'll just hand them out the bag to you. Now, we, it is a stocking challenge, but they wouldn't all fit in the stocking. So this is my very depleted Santa sack. <laughs> stocking for us. So I remember the prices of most of it, but I did throw away my receipt. So. Oh, look. Great. Are you ready? So one of the first things I picked up for you was this very nice gingerbread jingle scented candle and that sounds weird for a guy but he likes candles and that was actually only two forty nine. The smell smells so nice. <laughs> You're such a liar. Yeah, there was a pink one and there's like a candy can that smelled really nice but I figured because he's like he doesn't want a pink candle. And then for you, Cookie Girl. Oh, it's just, it's just, I uh, just to say whether or not you think it was good. Oh, I just did. I just said it was good. Is that a good gift? Yeah. 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 Okay. It smells nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's look. It's very. It's not even. Look how pretty that is. They're so much more expensive. So you know that those people that you have to buy for that you don't really like, you could just get them one of these. It's cheaper than a Yankee candle. <laughs> Do I need to figure that back then? <laughs> I can't say that, I'm not very good at editing yet. Okay, and then this was something Jasmine chose. I think she thought it was a sweet foot. So this is a car air freshener. I'll show it to the camera. It looks like a lollipop. Um, I'm and it's, glad you said that. Can I just tell you what scent it is? It's a blueberry scent. But look, look how cute that is. And he does like car air fresheners, don't you? Mm-hmm. You have a lot. And that was 99p. Have an ice day. Like it. Oh, but that's a nice one to be like... I mean, I don't... Is that a dangly one? Let me see. Yeah, it's got the front of it. Let me see. So that's going to be fab. And that's what Jasmine chose for you. Doesn't she know you so well? And then... The next thing is... I think you have to have like, some form of chocolate orange at Christmas in the stocking. But this is a different version. Have you seen these? No. I hadn't saw them until I went in. This is a bar biscuit. So it's Terry's chocolate orange with little like biscuit pieces in. And I had a cranberry one, but he doesn't like fruit. So well, like he doesn't like fruit in chocolate. He's weird. So we got you that one to try, which was 99p. Which I'm not going to like. It seems a bit expensive, but it is what it is. That's that's that's... We went to the shop. <laughs> that's expensive. It's about 80p for Mars bar that big these days. I think that's quite expensive. And then Jasmine saw this. So this is this is one ninety nine, and it's a nice, cosy, one size beanie hat. I don't know how that's going to be one size because there's a difference. It should be like her head, my head, I mean cookie over here, and my head. But I know it's not for a doll, but I'm just saying there's a difference. There's a difference between the sizes. But anyway, and it's all like. Insulate, insulate, insulated, insulated inside, look all cozy, and and it's just it's not anything like really attractive and fun. They had one with snowflakes on, but I don't know if guys want snowflakes on their head. Didn't fit. <laughs> it's such a liar. One size doesn't fit all. So is that a good gift? Yep. You can't beat a winter hat, and you've had a lot of winter hats. You're always losing them, so. It's obviously and... cookie dough stealing them. <laughs> <laughs> And then the next thing I got was this Crunch is his favourite. This was a very no, Crunch is your favourite. No, what is your favourite name? Brenner. 
that's why we're no longer together. We don't know each other. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a nine pack of crunchy bars. And I saw the four pack which were a pound, but this was 189. So if you do the math, I'm getting some free here. So there you go, you're not paying with chocolate. <laughs> I do like crunchy bars, obviously. So good gift, not good gift. Yeah, good gift. And that books out, so if that was a, I mean this is a slack, if that was a stocking, it books it out really well. I feel like you're playing safe with just chocolate though. Oh well, I haven't finished yet. Because it's such a big bag, I think it's lost. And then I saw this one. So this is 69p. And this is, you know there's like air wick. Is it air wick? No, what's that called? Air vent. Things that you stick in the vent of your car. But look at this, so it's two of those from... Wickford and Carl, that's where I get, got the word wick from. And it's a scratch and sniff. I don't really know what that means. Well, yeah. Up to 30 days. Scratch so and sniff you get two. You only 69p. I don't know if you can. I might be able to resist it. 69p. You know what an air vent thing looks like. But look at the scent. Mm -hmm. Tell me what it is. Cherry blossom and jasmine. I can't see that. You like too light. So it's cherry blossom and jasmine. And our daughter. The thing that keeps us from killing each other is called Jasmine. So I thought that was cute. And cherry blossom's my favourite flower, so it reminds you of me as well. Oh. I know your heart still points to me, so I thought that would just remind you of me. There you go then. Give <laughs> <laughs> yourself obviously to take it back. <laughs> oh no, you but, ripped it up, didn't you? But that's a good gift, isn't it? Yeah. Because again, you like smellies in your car. I don't really know how you fit those in, I've never used them, but. And then I've just got two more left. So, but I was actually under budget. I finish. So Jasmine chose these, which you all get. They were only 69p, and they're these little chocolate Santas. They're just like solid chocolate inside, no caramel or anything like that. Well, how cute are they? They're perfect for kids in a stocking or like a Christmas Eve box or whatever you're doing. Yeah, thank you. I think they're for Jasmine, most likely. More than likely. Um. I don't. <laughs> it's probably having a big dad belt bod. I can't seem to get much of the food. But... I get jet well, get for myself, this, Jasmine pinches half of it. And then all three quarters. This is Do you mind off speaking? I'm just trying to interrupt me. I'm trying to engage with your audience here. I'm trying to tell them. You carry on. And, no, no, it's all right. This is your channel. You carry um, on there. There's a bar at the bottom. You can just scroll and skip past that if you want. So this is my favourite thing that I got you. Right. In all the and this would actually make a I think it would make a cute gift, like a top up gift for somebody, you know, if you've got them like we go get this for my brothers to top up their gifts. Yeah, I've got a brother's gift. So this is this was three ninety nine, and it's this cute red mug. Cause you don't really have Christmassy mugs, so I thought this is sort of Christmassy because it's red. And then it says there's always room for small, not more, small. And the reason why is because inside there's these chunky marshmallows, and then like a little kit. You can't see it because the marshmallows are covering it, but a little kit here to make your own s'mores. What's more festive than that? And that fills up the stocking well as well. It's okay. Doesn't do much in my Santa sack, but right. so in the end, I actually spent fourteen sixty nine. So I was under budget. But you've got a range of things there. You got stuff for your car. You got chocolate. Hat. So there's no no links, deodorants or anything. No, no, no. We don't mm. do links. They test on animals, so we'll skip that bit. So I think I did pretty well. What do you think? I think you did well, but I think I've won. Another issue in our relationship. I think, you always win. No, I think I've got the better presence if I'm being honest. So okay, so, well, like, I mean that is all things that you like. They're you know car things, mm. crunchies. Hats. Well, I'll tell you what then. In, so instead we'll of us bickering on who's won, we'll just let let your That's followers, okay because your viewers. Decide. I'm in charge of my channel, so I'll just delete the comments that say Chris. All right, we'll see anyway. Well, anyway. Okay, so you can give me my. Did you stay on budget? Did you go under? Did you go yeah. over? I think I've got more items than you and I only come to £14 pounds on it. Okay, I will see. And I actually kept my receipt but I've been told I can't show because, you know, it's I threw mine away. it helped me win even more because I could prove it and I, obviously she couldn't prove hers. So. But anyway, first off, we'll start off with some nail polish remover. These are cruelty free, <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, it is. Look, not test. You do know me. That was a fluke, mm, wasn't it? Yeah. It says here, not tested on animals, so that's okay. So nail polish remover. As you can see, I do actually most of the time on my videos, my nails are chipped. 
this helps take away the cheaper make on it like this. How much was this, do you remember? I think it was like something like seven times or nine times there. But you know, of course I took up the receipt a couple of times. And it's acetone free. <coughs> Acetone's when you know if you use too much to take it off and like you get that bruising on your nails. You won't get that. That's a good gift, okay. So this one obviously you can do all your book work and whatever else you do. So I've I'm got... writing a book. I've been writing it for about ten years, so I like yeah. to highlight stuff. So there's highlighters because you're cool. always losing them. Yeah, well Jasmine steals them. Mm. She went through a phase as a kid where she would have 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 have, <laughs> have to be holding a highlighter. So hopefully these will remain mine, but we'll see. We'll see if I find out. Did she pick those or you? Uh, I'll pick them. <laughs> Pack of razors. Be very careful <laughs> what you say on this channel. Because you yeah, because got some of the legs. <laughs> That's not true. Listen, it's been a it's been a very long time since I've had X rated fun. I don't need to be showing my it's winter, I need to keep them warm. I was talking about your legs. <laughs> well you show your legs if you're gonna have X rate I don't know if I can say S E X. So we're gonna call it X rated fun. That's the only time you need to shave your legs as a woman. Unless you're wearing a skirt, but it's like we live in England, it's very cold if you don't know. You need to shave your legs every day. Like, you know, and like on Harry Potter, you know, when you turn into the werewolf. Yeah. It's like, it's like that. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. This is, to be honest, another thing. This is thing. what I had to put up with. This is another head. thing that she really needs. It, it, <laughs> I couldn't even describe it to you, but. <laughs> deodorant. I've never known someone smell like BL so much. That and I am allowed to say that on the channel. That is so I know there's not being edited out. That is so not true. Yeah, but okay, no, I don't know if this is going to be strong enough. <laughs> May have needed like a nuclear bomb, but it's so not true. It, it might do the job. It's It'll mask so it at true. least. Maybe for your new boyfriend, it, he might thank me for that. He might actually shake my hand for that. It's so not true, but he everybody doesn't need the You know what, Chris? Thank you very much. This you, is you supposed to be a nice, loving, festive haul. Oh, oh, you should have said that at the start. <clears throat> This one, pens. Yes, black pens. I can only write in black biro. I write in blue biro, it, you can't read it. Yeah, so, yeah, you're always losing pens. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good one, I suppose. I mean, they're not necessarily like, fe like pretty ones, but, you know, I'd appreciate that in my stocking. Mm hmm. Again, you know. You know, it's the fact you don't need to insult me for every gift. It's supposed to be a Christmas stocking. In reality, you would be nice to me on Christmas Day. Probably the only one day he would be, but... For the body odour issues. <laughs> that wouldn't do anything for B.O. It would just be yeah, but soft. Like, yeah, but also I'm actually smell like coconut. Have you actually smelt it to see if it smells like yeah, coconut? Yeah, Now, this doesn't say it's cruelty-free, so... I would probably re-gift it. But it is actually full though, they're not steamed me. It's not a very strong smell, but it does smell like coconut. It's not a strong smell, it's not a gift. It's not a very strong smell. Oh! <laughs> so I'd re-gift it now. It's such a... <laughs> I should have known that was coming. You know you're going to get that in your real stocking, don't you? Yeah. Along with coal, because that's what Santa gives naughty children. Oh, we just put it back on my face. Okay, next. Some more wash stuff. I actually think I smell. Although yeah, I have actually, fair, I actually though, this need is some more show with you. Sandalwood oil and winter spices. So I'd imagine that's smelling quite nice, to be honest. I don't know if it's cruelty free, you know, so you might need to do some research or re gift it, you know. This says building girls' self esteem, I don't. And it's inspired by so women. It's from... good, you feel good. It says it's inspired by women from the Himalayas. Maybe this that's what they. Right. Maybe they walk around rubbing sandalwood. Is it actually wood? Or is that a flower? Because I can see like cinnamon on here. 
I don't see, see you. what? Cinnamon. That's not what you said at the start. Anyway, but I have just noticed on the back, it's plant-based moisturiser and it's cruelty-free. Globally, does not, Dove does not test on animals, so I can use this, but we're going to smell it. Just because it looks good. And then it smells good. I'm going to trust you now. Does it smell of anything? Actually, doesn't smell anything. Yeah, does you smell? Maybe I've got a cold. I literally cannot. I don't know. I'm a bit nervous now. If you've got no <laughs> sense of smell, <laughs> should I really be here? It smells like cookie dough. It's got no smell, has it? I mean, I'll use it because you know. Anyway, let me just move over. It has no. It has no smell. It does smell. I just smelled it. Right. It's very thick though. I like thick body wash. Things as you played safe and got me three lots of chocolate. I thought I'd play semi safe with a Galaxy bar. This can't really go wrong with Galaxy, can you? Everyone loves Galaxy. Well, yeah, they do. And like on a TV advert, when they hold it in the fridge and the mates set it, so then she's all of a sudden got a mystery chocolate behind the side of the settee. Boom, mystery chocolate down the side of the settee. Now, those of you that have been here for a while will know that I'm, I'd probably say like 90% vegan, there's still things I've got to change. I will break your face. There's still things I've got to change, but one of the things that I kept doing was eating regular chocolate because vegan chocolate is expensive. But that I haven't eaten regular chocolate for ages, so Jasmine can have this. Shows how much we <laughs> don't talk. <laughs> but Jasmine will eat this anyway, so that's not going to go to waste. And if you're not vegan, then you will. <clears throat> Galaxy's kind of a classic, isn't it? This says portions per pack is five, but when I ate this, that would be gone right away. Mm. Probably two. Especially when it's that time of the month, chocolate is a girl's best friend. Stops us killing you men. And a PlayStation's a man's best friend. <laughs> well, this would be good for when you're going to work or when you're That's off cute. out exploring. It's a bamboo fibre co coffee mug, and I don't drink coffee, but obviously you can put hot tea, soup, hot chocolate in there. But it seemed like a recyclable, I mean, not really, yeah, yeah, recyclable. So, which part's bamboo, thing. just the box or the actual it's cup? It's actual cup itself. This mug, uh, it says this mug is made using bamboo fibre, fastest growing renewable resource. And reusing this mug can help save the 100 billion paper cups going to landfill each year. See, so there you go. Oh, and it's food grade silicon lead and band are also recyclable. They didn't that was a good gift. How much was that? That was a nice one, I think. Really? I, think so. I have seen these in some places, but they're like four ninety nine or upwards, so that's actually really good. And it's pink and I think you've got the pattern. I think it's just like circles, but that's cute. Yeah, that's a good gift. You did well with that. That saves you for the insults. I think this one's and like that, it's not metal as well, so it's not going to be like hot to hold mm. in your hands. You know, like when they basically burn your hands off. That won't happen. And this one comes in like a decent, like, cracker sort of box. And then it's got two woolly soft socks in there. Like two pairs or two? Two wool. pairs. Pack of, pack of two. So, I can't, I can't remember which I was now, but it was all under budget anyway, so. Still like it's nice. actually really they're like that like um velveteen you know the lounge res you can get there's a blue set and a pink set that is cute and the cracker makes it cute mm. see that would be good in a stocking because it would bulk it out and i always laugh at me saying that and it would be good as like a top-up gift again you know those people that you don't want to buy for but you have to to keep the peace hence the reason why i bought it for her. get them some of these and to fair this one Kind of off Jasmine as well, but I think this one, I think this is the winning present. I think when you all watch this, you'll be like, you know what, that's actually the winner. I don't think you're going to be, to be fair. Is this the last present? Yeah. It's a candle, but it's got the letter, I can't even see it, the letter D on there for Danny. But it's a jasmine scented flower candle. So I think that's the winner, to be honest. I think you've been outdone, boy, by 99p a candle. 
Let me see. Oh, well, it's going to have to smell test first. So it will be so far I'll be able to smell anything. Yeah. That is a cute gift. <coughs> and obviously I can open this because this isn't going to be a gift to anybody. Does anybody have to? You don't read. Do you read gift presents? I do. No, because I'm, I'm like a grateful person, you see. So I wouldn't obviously have a gift and normally try and use them up. Like somebody else who gets presents, re gifts them, but then forgets that they've re gifted it back to the person that's bought it them. That happened when my uh, I, my brother's girlfriend was pregnant and I gave her a hot water bottle thing. It wasn't, it was one of those things that you put in the microwave, but I was really going to catch on fire. So I said to him, gave him it back to my brother and said, you know, someone brought me this, but I don't know why because I, I never use it and it's just going to be wasted. So you might as well just give it that to you. And he just took a second and went. I bought you this. I mean, nobody needs like 20 toiletry sets and, you know, I'm very funny with what I like and don't like. Just because I have like one Mickey Mouse t-shirt doesn't mean I will like the one that you buy me. And I don't like to be rude, so I just re-gift it. But you kind of could say that he's being rude when someone's bought you a gift and then you're just like, oh, you know what. But they don't know okay. that. Other than that one to my give it back to him. But it's just cool being grateful. I'm, I am grateful. I'm just very, very fussy. If you tell me you can't smell I can smell that from here. I can't so. smell that. I can smell that. So there's, you, you smell it, Kitty Doll? Yeah, I, I don't think I should be here any longer than I need to be. No. Because <laughs> no. you've obviously got some of it. No. I wonder if that's from my boy. No. Cookie, oh, if you on my Instagram, you don't like Cookie Doll. I will tap to my Cookie Doll. She's on the men slowly. So yeah, that's a cute, a cute candle. That apparently has no smell. I mean, yeah, I can't smell that, so maybe I've got a cold coming or something. I mean, I did go for walking around this morning with Cookie Dough. We're trying to brave going out, aren't we, Cookie Dough? Um, I mean, I don't know that you've won. I'd say I have to be honest. I mean, we'll let everyone else choose in the comments because you'll never admit that you don't win. I mean, this was a good gift. Oh, but how long have they got? Till the end of time. I would say... Is that like a week? No, that's too long. No, that's a week. Okay. So, I'll say these These were very... These are probably my favourite gifts that you got. I think these are good, especially like the bamboo thingy. And I do appreciate that the stuff you got me was like mostly cruelty free, even though you didn't actually check, so that was a fluke. I didn't know you're gonna get credit for a fluke. I'm sorry, this is my favourite gift. Oh, oh, sorry, you didn't get me that one, did you? No. Oh, uh. It's <laughs> making a point that you can't find it. That small cup. You will love that. I'll go with the, the small cup. Yeah, I'm gone because. Jasmine actually, we were looking at like Santa cups and elf cups and stuff and there's a pink unicorn one that she'd wanted to pick and then I said but we need to get him like a red one or a green one, meaning the Santa or elf and she saw this because she liked the marshmallows. So now well, when, like when you drink one. this, because you can think of Jasmine because yeah, this was something that she chose. With a Christmas cup you can only really use that around but, Christmas time. Um, I don't know but it looks, because if, say in like June, July you're there drinking a Santa cup, you just look like a little weirdo. Exactly. But, Use bamboo, this all year round. Put a bamboo cup, use all round. Fluffy socks. We live in England. I'm you not going to use, use that if we had the summer like we did this year. I wouldn't be using that in the summer. But I'm just saying, you never know. You let us know what you think because we could never agree when we were together. We ain't going to be agreeing now. And obviously, that's that's one it to be honest. Me. <laughs> yeah, you did do like you literally got probably like about like thirteen or fourteen things. Yeah. So for fifteen pounds, that was very good. No, I'll won't. give you that. You don't get to choose. The <laughs> audience won't. gets to choose. Oh, so let won't. us know in the comments whether well, on the, you... On the guests, so the guests should, should win anyway. Let us win. know in the comments whether you think I won or he won. You can use whatever name you want for him. If you're female, you'll probably be on my side that he's a total jackass. And if you want to uns unsubscribe <laughs> after this video as well, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Say that. Um, so I'm only joking. Thank you for watching and thank you for doing it. I did ask like my brothers and stuff. So that yeah, it was like cute. fourth or fifth choice to be I honest. thought it would be cute like brother sister thing, um, but they're all, they're all, they're not really camera people. They are very shy. Um, he's shy as well. But when I kind of did the puppy lick, mm. I was like, no one wants to do it, and I got no friends. Yeah. So then, so when you're obviously he the fifth choice, and you have to step up. <laughs> 
Um, so thank you for watching me say bye, cookie girl. The towel's, the towel's working, that's the good boy that you get. So I've got one more Christmassy video to do before Christmas, which will be a come wrapped with me, which will be up soon. So thank you for watching. Comment below who you think won. And all this was from Home Bargain. So if you saw anything that you like, then head over there. And above all else, I know everyone's probably sick of hearing it as well, but stay safe, be responsible, and enjoy Christmas. That's the bit where you cut it off. Are you done? No. Oh. No. Oh, well, so right though. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.